guys what's up welcome back to the channel it's your girl brightest day if you're new here welcome if you're only but a goodie welcome back so today is all about this unit today's video is sponsored by yolova here love the color like it's 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 really given i can't wait for the summer to really like kill this i feel like this is more like a a summer spring vibe but definitely spring is around the corner honey so technically i'm ahead because this is beautiful all the details to this hair will be in the description box it's been a minute since i installed a wig but if you want to see how i install it please keep on watching right into it today's video is sponsored by yolova hair they sent me over some goodies of course in the boxes and a hair bag we know we love a nice little hair bag to store our unit in so this is the beautiful gorgeous highlight wig that we'll be working with today this is their 13 by 4 wig look at the color just yes getting me ready for spring so for the cap it has three combs two on the side one in the back and of course your elastic bands for you to snatch that thing on your head make sure it's secured straight out the box this hair is so soft y'all like legit so soft um so i am gonna practice my ball cap method y'all get to see that today i'm trying something new i'm gonna take the got to be gel and i'm gonna base my cap with that apparently this is better for your edges instead of going in straight with the got to be um, I tried it. It's all right. I don't know. Um, I, maybe I just need a little bit more practice with it, but yeah, so I'm just doing all that. As I was doing this, I was like, oh crap, I did not cut out the air part. So I went back and I did that. And I just went in with the got to be, y'all know how the sides of the wig cap be, it don't want to lay down. So I went in with some got to be just to secure that in um a little bit more and i also tied it down i had a little time today y'all um so then i started cutting out the cap and i noticed that the wig cap was a little far from my hairline i didn't want it all on my forehead just took my comb to push up the cap a little bit closer to my hairline and i'm just gonna cut the cap off i'm just going in and cleaning up what i cut i like to cut away from it a little bit and then i just work my way and go closer and to get it neat i'm still practicing this method y'all y'all know i'm a beginner to this wig gang but we doing it so then i took the got to be glue the paste one not the spray and i decided to try this to um make the wig cap a little flat y'all i don't really like it this was the residue i i wasn't really feeling it so i went in with some alcohol to like clean it up i probably won't try that again i'll probably just stick to the glue um i'll probably just stick to the got to be spray then i went in and added some of my bronzer to that let me know girls should i use a lighter color or a darker color i'm not sure i just went in with my bronzer i feel like my regular face powder was a little bit too light but i don't know after that is done, I took the tint and I tinted the lace on my wig because I did not bleach it. For future references, I think I'm just going to start bleaching my caps. I think this wig, um, the tint is too, I don't know, the color is a little bit off and it creates just like this residue. I don't know how to explain it, but I did blow dry it and everything. So I'm not sure, but I wasn't really feeling the lace tint. I recently um, installed another wig without it, and I think I like the installation better. So I'm going back to bleaching my knots, even though, you know, it takes time. Anyway, let's get this cutting going. So I'm just making different um, cuts in the lace so that I can work in sections. We still see some lace, so I'm going to go in for a closer cut. But I like to start further and then just work my way backwards. So I'm taking this razor. It's a struggle for me to use that razor. Shout out to the girl who knows how to use the razor. But I'm sticking with the scissors. So I'm just going in a little closer to make sure I get that, you know, scalp-like cut. Um, I'm still working with the scissors trying to get it zigzag instead of straight. That's also a struggle. Um, something new that I tried here, I went in again with the got to be glue paste. Is that what it's called, y'all? I don't know. Um, but yeah, and I decided that I was going to just lay parts at a time. So after I put this down, I got my blow dryer. I dried it in sections. I like working in sections this way, but I probably just used the got to be spray. And I blow dried it so it could get real tacky. And it laid better, honestly, for me um, doing this method instead of just doing the entire head going around. Did the other side, and then that's just me blow drying the middle and the other side. It's giving a little bit, you know, I should have plucked the unit a little bit more, um, but I was, this. we lazy girls over here. And of course I went in and I tied it down a little bit 
and that was what it looked like after the fact i'm just combing out any hairs that got stuck with the glue and i'm going back with some alcohol just to clean that up get rid of the residue then it's time for the baby hairs. Y'all know this is a struggle for me, but we're going to try. At this point, I should have went in a little bit and um, I should have went in and plucked a little bit. But y'all going to see, I kind of did, but not really. So I'm just combing out my baby hair. I don't really have a method to this. I'm just trying to eyeball it, trying to focus. Y'all know how I roll with the baby hair department. So let's just speed through this bad boy and see what I come up with. The baby hair didn't come out awful. So then I got, and this is for the girls who really struggle with laying your edges like me. I find this method a little easier to have them just, you know, curl in the direction that you want it to. And now y'all know how I am with my bust down middle part. That's always what I go for. As I was doing it, I was getting ready to lay it flat with my Care Care um, wax stick. I put the hair to the side and then I was doing it. And then I was like, hold on. Wait a minute, because I like this little side part thingy. So then I had to redo the whole thing. So I decided to go with a side part. So watch me work and fix the side part. And then I'll see y'all at the end. so much for watching today's video y'all thank you to yolova again for sponsoring today's video we love a day one sponsor thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all in my next one